Today, I'm doing a build challenge with my friend Rainy, but I'm secretly gonna be cheating with the Ultra Pace mod, which lets me instantly build whatever I want. And oh yeah, there is no way Rainy's winning this build challenge. So let's go check on my friend Rainy. Oh wait, there you are, Dash. Where have you been? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Well, Dash, what are we doing today? Today, Rainy, we are gonna be doing a build challenge, and the themes that we are building are actually right over here in this dispenser. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Yep, so why don't you go ahead and hit the button and see what our first build is gonna be. I got a skyscraper. Ooh, a skyscraper? I am so good at building those. You're going down. No way you're going down, Dash. Well, anyways, Rainy, we've each got 10 minutes to build, so let's get to it. And perfect, guys. Now that the build challenge has started, we can go ahead and open up our ultra paced venue down over here. And down here, we can choose what theme we want our build. So medieval, modern, townhouse, and then this other one. And I think for this skyscraper build, let's go with the modern theme. And perfect. Now, guys, we are over here in the ultra ultra pace mode. And all we have to do to build our skyscraper is just go ahead and select this position over here and then go all the way over here and we can choose our second position. And let's make this a pretty big skyscraper. So let's go right over here. Perfect. And now over here, we've got the foundation of our skyscraper and this is looking pretty good. But now to actually make it a tower, we can go ahead and raise it up just like this. And perfect, guys. We're gonna make this tower go super tall. Let's make it go all the way over the walls. And whoa, wait, it looks like Rainy's already getting Getting pretty tall as well. So we're gonna make ours go even taller. Let's go. Next, let's quickly go up here and add in a roof just like that. And perfect. I think this looks good for the base of our skyscraper. So let's go back into our ultra paste menu and let's press finish. And perfect. Look at this. Now we're in a little preview mode that lets us basically just see our build. And it's actually not in the world yet. We can just go through the blocks. This is just a preview of what it's gonna turn into. But anyways, guys, I think this skyscraper looks pretty good. So let's go back into our ultra paste menu and press print blocks into world and look at that it is automatically building oh my gosh this is so cool rainy is absolutely going down there's no way he can compete with this dash how's your build coming along oh my build is coming along super well what about you my build looks so good you're going down okay we'll see about that and here we go guys the first part of our skyscraper is almost done pasting into our world and oh my gosh this thing is so big hopefully rainy doesn't see it over the wall and per Perfect. It just finished building and here it is. And oh my gosh, this thing looks so awesome. Although this kind of just looks like a big boring tower. It doesn't really look like a skyscraper to me, but we can easily fix that. Let's just go into our ultra pace mode again and let's hit the modern theme. And now to make this tower into an actual skyscraper, let's just go ahead and select another position over here and another position right over here. And wait a minute, this actually doesn't really look all that even. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this one and let's try again. Let's just go one one, two, three, four, five blocks this way. And then another five blocks this way. Perfect. This looks much more even. And now we can go ahead and start building the top part of our skyscraper. Perfect. This is looking good. And I think this is tall enough. So let's go ahead and go into the preview mode. And this looks pretty good, except, hmm, we don't really need this floor area over here. So let's just go ahead and change it just like this. And okay, this one looks much better. And perfect. I think this part looks good. So let's just go ahead and paste it into our world. And and perfect. And let's go. The second part is done. And now this is really starting to look like a skyscraper. Except, hmm, I think we need to add one more little tower to the top. So again, let's just go ahead and select our two positions just like that. And let's add in our final tower. Except, hmm, why don't we spice this one up a little bit? Let's go over here into the ultra pace menu and let's hit the choose palette button. And now over here, we can choose what type of block palette we want to use. And wait a minute, what about this industrial revolution one? So let's just hit that and ooh, this does look pretty cool but hmm let's see what other ones there are and wait a minute this one says icy castle i can't wait to see what this one looks like and whoa this does look pretty cool except hmm it does look a little bit out of place so let's just go ahead and change it to this one over here and okay yeah this one looks good now again let's just go ahead and paste it into our world and perfect and perfect now this skyscraper is looking super awesome but wait it's all empty on the inside oh no we have to quickly build a little bit of an interior before Rainy comes over. And the first thing we have to do is, of course, go ahead and add an entrance. So let's just go ahead and put some stairs just like that. And now we can go ahead and add in our door just like this. There we go. And perfect. This entrance looks super good. And I think on this first floor over here, the first thing we should build is a little entrance area. Now, since there's gonna be a lot of people entering this huge skyscraper, the first thing we should build is a front desk. So let's just go ahead and put some wood down just like this. And we can put this trapdoor over here as a little door. Perfect. Perfect. 
this looks good. Next, let's go ahead and make a little staircase so that people can get onto the second floor. Except, wait, a staircase is gonna be so slow. Using a staircase to get all the way up to the top of our skyscraper is gonna be way too slow. And nobody's gonna wanna actually walk on that. So what about instead we build a water elevator? And I think for our water elevator, let's just go over here in the middle of our build and build it over here. There we go. Let's just go ahead and build a little area right over here. And now let's go ahead and put some signs over here so that the water doesn't leak out. And now all we have to do is go ahead and make this hole go all the way up to the top of our skyscraper. And this might take a while because this skyscraper is so massive. And perfect. Now that we've got this giant hole done, we can go ahead and build some walls around it for the water. And perfect. Now we've got it going all the way up to the top. Now the only thing we have to do is fill it up with some water. And now over here at the very bottom, let's put down this one block of soul sand, which will make this entire thing act as an elevator. And perfect. This thing is so awesome. We can use it to get on any floor that we want. And anyways, hmm, what should we build on this second floor of our skyscraper? And wait a minute, what about a gaming room? First, let's go ahead and split up this giant floor into a bunch of separate rooms. And perfect. Now that this entire floor is split up into a bunch of different rooms, we can go ahead and start building gaming setups in each and every room. And in this first one over here, we can go ahead and put down this TV and let's also go ahead and hook it up to this switch. And of course, let's go ahead and put down a chair right over here. And perfect. This first room is good. Of course, let's go ahead and add in a door. And now let's build the other rooms. And wait a minute, guys. In this room over here, let's go ahead and put down two desks because this room can be for two people. And let's also go ahead and put down two of these awesome gaming setups just like that. And of course, let's put down our chair. So we can put a purple one over here and let's put a pink one down here for rainy. And perfect. This room looks great. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all of the other rooms with some gaming setups and I'll be right back. And perfect. These gaming setups look so awesome. I cannot wait to show Rainy all of this. This is so cool. But guys, just like that, I think the timer ran out. So let's go over to Rainy's side and see if he's done with his build. Rainy, are you done yet? Uh, I've been done forever, Dash. I've been taking a nap because you're so slow. Wait, slow? I built this so quickly. But yeah, I mean, I did build a lot of stuff on the inside. Oh, I'm bored. I bet yours sucks. Uh, okay. Well, who said you want to check out first? Well, obviously, I just said yours is going to be bad. So let's check out mine first. Uh, okay. I guess we can check out yours first. And, uh, wait, Rainy, this just looks like a tower. This doesn't look like a skyscraper. Can you tell me the difference between a tower and a skyscraper? No, you can't. Well, I mean, a skyscraper is supposed to, like, scrape the sky, but this is barely taller than the wall. Well, what's the sky? Everything's the sky. You're the sky. Uh, I'm not the sky. But anyways, uh, can I get a tour of your build? Yes, you can. But first, you have to talk to the attendant over here. The attendant and wait, Senior Pig? Wait, who is this? This is Senior Pig. He's just my employee. He's your employee. Wait, what does he do? Oh, he just sits here and does all the jobs I need. Here you go, Senior Pig. I kind of forgot to feed you this morning. Take wait, some wait, cooked pork chops. are you feeding him cooked pork? The Rainy, that is so messed up. Wait, why? Uh, um, don't worry about it. Well, anyways, can we check out the inside? Yeah, come on in. This is going to be the meeting area. We just got some pool tables, a little chalkboard, and a trash can. Ooh, that is so cool. This trash can actually reminds me of something. What does it remind you of? It reminds me of you. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm almost sad. What? No, Rainy, don't get sad. I was just joking. Okay. I, uh, as long as you take it back, we can be friends again. Yeah, yeah, I take it back. Anyways, can we check out the upstairs? Uh, yeah, I mean, everything's kind of under construction, so there's not too much except the glass and the flooring. Mm, okay, well, you know, this does look pretty nice. You have the nice window over here. You can get a nice view and everything, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. I mean, if you want to check out the outside, too, you can go all the way to the top. All right, let's check out the top, and whoa, wait, it actually has quite a few floors. I told you, it's under construction, though. We're supposed to have the builders coming tomorrow. Got it, got it, but wait, Rennie, do you want to check out my side now? Because I think you'll be impressed. Yeah, I doubt it, but sure, we can check it out. And wait a second, whoa, this thing is huge. Well, yeah, Rennie, this is why I was saying yours was small, because this is what a real skyscraper looks like. What in the world? And whoops, I tripped. And wait, wait, did you just blow up my skyscraper? What? No, I just tripped. I'm so sorry, Dash. What? How do you even, what? how does that even work? I have no idea. That was insane. Oh, whatever. Well, I mean, this is all your fault. Let's just ignore this. And this does not count towards my build, okay? Okay, can I just get a tour of it, though? Uh, yeah, fine. We can head out on the inside. And right over here, Rainy, we've got the front desk. And, you know, we don't have any employees right now, which is why no one's here. But there should be some people soon. Wait, you don't have any employees. Why not? Uh, and wait a minute, Rainy. What is that in your hand? What is what? I have nothing in I my hand. I just saw that TNT in your hand. What are you playing with that? Stop accusing me. Okay, whatever. Well, anyways, Rainy, this is just the first floor. You know, it's pretty simple, pretty nice until you blew it up. But yeah, other than that, that's it. I think this has been blown up the whole time. So I'm gonna take a couple points off. What? No, you literally blew it up. Well, let's check out the next floor. 
Well, anyways, Vinny, right over here, we've got this awesome water elevator because I know yours had a staircase and that was pretty slow. So mine has a water elevator, which is going to be much faster. Whoa, look at this. Is this like an office? Well, Rainy, it is kind of an office, but why don't we actually take a look inside one of the rooms? Okay, what do you got in here? And, uh, wait, Rainy, did you just throw another dynamite? What the heck? Whoa, Dash, you said you didn't have any employees. Look at them. Rainy, these aren't employees. These are animals. But they have names. They're more than animals. Okay, well, I mean, I guess they can stay, but here is one of the gaming rooms. Whoa, is it Minecraft on the screen? Yes, it is. Isn't it so awesome? Yes, I can, but man, your head is huge. I can see it on the screen. Uh, well, Rainy, that is not me. That is blue, and I am purple. What are you talking about? Wait, you're purple. I thought you were red. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, let's just go and check out a few other rooms. All right. Just follow me right over here. I've actually built a super awesome room that has two seats. Ah, <laughs> And, uh, wait, Rainy, did you go all the way up the water elevator? Oh, my God, I can't stop. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I did forget to add a way to get down. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, God, there's so many animals up here. Rainy, just go into one of the floors. What are you doing? I have no idea. I didn't know what to do. I'm coming back down. All right, Rainy. Well, anyways, just follow me right over here. And inside here, we've got this awesome gaming room for two people. Whoa, this is so cool. And there's even a big chair. Yep, I put that one there just for you. Wow, this is so cool. Wait a second. I want to see the purple chair. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's awesome. The purple chair is much better. And wait, Rainy, are you throwing it out the window? What are you doing? It's going out the window because it's trash. What? Sorry. Let me just rebuild this and then I'll go here and then I'll grab this and perfect. And wait, did you just replace it with a pi Okay, dude. And Rainy, there actually is one more thing that I want to show you for my build. Oh, I'm excited. Let's check it out. All right. And for this thing, we're going to have to head to the very top. So hold your breath and let's go. And wait, what the heck did you just... Wait, why is everything glass? Wait, what do you mean? Uh, wait, Rainy, did you do this? Did you throw some sort of dynamite again? Whoa, this is so cool. How'd you build this? I, I did not build this. This was you. This is awesome. Okay, let's go check out the top. Oh, uh, whatever. Well, yeah, let's just go to the top. And uh, Rainy, I saw you throw that again. Stop doing that. I haven't thrown anything. Stop accusing me, Dash. You keep throwing these glass dynamites. I've done nothing. Why are you accusing me? Okay, well, in that case, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the command slash clear rainy and what in the world? Wait, why is there so many pigs over here? I don't know. See, you just cleared me. I had nothing. Oh, uh, whatever. Well, anyways, rainy, this is the top of the skyscraper and look at how high we are. This is so awesome. What in the world? This is so scary. And rainy, there is one more thing I want to show you and why don't you just go ahead and take this elytra and and quickly pick that up and see you. Ah, Dash, you knocked me off. Quick, use the Elytra fly. Go, go, go. And wait, what the? the how did you even do that? Let's go. I'm such a water bucket clutch god. And, uh, Rainy, this was not one. Wa how did you even place all this water at once? Uh, that's a lot more water than I packed. I didn't do that. Okay, well, anyways, that was my skyscraper build. You know, it was pretty good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and give you this round win. Let's go. And wait, Rainy, I just saw you throw that down at my... Anyways, let's move on to the next round. All right, Rainy. Well, anyways, it is time for the next round. So let's go over here to the dispenser and hit the button again. Let's go. And, uh, wait, Rainy, why are you so small? Wait, why are you so big? Uh, Rainy, it's, I'm not big. You're small. You're literally one block tall. Back up. I'm hitting the button. Okay. Well, anyways, what theme did we get? Whoa, we got a tank. Whoa, tank. That is so awesome. Well, anyways, Rainy, we've each got 10 minutes to build this one. So let's go. Let's go. And perfect. Here we are on our side again. And I don't know why Rainy was so small when we were picking the theme for that. But anyways, now that we're over here on our side again, it is time for some more ultra paste. Except since this time we're building a tank, we can't really use this ultra paste menu anymore because this was kind of more meant for houses. So instead, we're just gonna go right over here and run this slash paste command and it should give us a super awesome tank. Let's go. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this tank. This looks so perfect. There is no way Rainy's even gonna be able to compete with this. And wait a minute, there's an inside Okay, we definitely have to check out this. And oh my gosh, there's a bed inside of the tank. This is the coolest tank I've ever seen. And whoa, this is so cool. There's even a little window over here where you can look through. And whoa, I'm guessing these are the control things. Uh, wait a minute. Is the tank even firing? I don't think this tank even works. What? Okay, well, this tank does look pretty cool, but I don't think it even fires. There's not even a way to fire this dispenser over here. What? We're gonna have to change that. And the first thing we have to do to make this tank functional is to go ahead and break this turret right over over here, except for this dispenser. And instead, we're just gonna go ahead and place this one green terracotta there. And then we're gonna put a bunch of this secret red 
redstone. And basically, secret redstone just looks like a normal block, but it's actually redstone. So now, if I go ahead and put a fire charge inside of this dispenser and put a lever over here and flick it, then it's gonna fire it. So now, all we have to do is make this secret redstone go all the way to the inside of the tank, and then we can put a lever right over here, and now, whenever we flick it, it should fire the tank. Let's go! Uh, wait a minute. Shooting these fire chargers are kind of useless. Like, they're not even doing anything. They're just going way too far. And wait, even if they do hit the ground, they don't even explode. They just make a little bit of fire. That is pretty weak, and I think I know a way that we can change that. If we just go right over here inside of our inventory, then we can go ahead and look at a bunch of these dynamites. And I'm pretty sure if we just go ahead and grab a normal dynamite and put it inside of our dispenser, then whenever we flick the lever, it should fire it off. And look at that. It actually worked. But wait a minute. This explosion over here is super weak. It only broke like five blocks. So let's just go back over here into the dynamites. And hmm, I think we need to choose a more powerful dynamite. And wait a minute. What about this lightning one? Let's just go ahead and put that inside. And wait, I can't wait to see what this does. Let's go ahead and flick the lever. And whoa, look at that. Wait, Dash, what was all that noise? Uh, wait, Rainy, that was nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. And phew, guys, hopefully Rainy doesn't hear that again. We gotta be more careful. Anyways, the lightning dynamite was pretty cool, but it didn't even do any damage. This explosion was from the normal dynamite. So let's just go back into our dynamites and hmm, which one should we try next? And wait a minute, what about this physics dynamite? I'm pretty sure this was the one that Rainy was throwing at our skyscraper earlier. Let's just go over here and flick the lever and here we go. And oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, yeah, that physics dynamite is super OP. We're definitely gonna be using that one. Let's just go ahead and grab a bunch of them and put them inside of our dispenser. Perfect. And wait a minute. I kind of want to see what it looks like rapid fire. So let's just go ahead and spam this lever. And oh my gosh, wait, what? He just destroyed the tip of our tank. Oh no. Well, it's fine. It should be pretty easy to fix. We just have to put another dispenser here and fill it up with some more physics dynamites. At least now we know not to go rapid fire again. But wait, look at all of the damage it did. This is absolutely crazy. Now, anyways, this tank does look pretty awesome, but I'm pretty sure this tank is supposed to have more than just one gun because it's got a dispenser over here, some dispensers here, and it's just got a bunch of dispensers everywhere. So I think we need to make those functional next. And I think I have a perfect idea of what we can do with these dispensers. Anyways, the first thing we have to do is go ahead and make an infinitely repeating redstone signal, just like this with a few of these observers. And now the redstone is gonna be infinitely repeating just like this. So now the next thing we have to do is go ahead and put some redstone on this side and over here on this side, and then put a little bit of secret redstone like this. Let's put some more over here and perfect. Now, if we quickly go out of the tank and fill up all of our cannons with some fireballs, then they're all gonna be automatically shooting. And oh my gosh, look at how OP this is. Look at how much damage it's doing to the wall. And Dash, what is that smell? It smells like something's burning. And uh, wait, Rainy, I think you're just smelling things. I don't think anything's burning. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, maybe my sense of smell is off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely just smelling stuff. Well, anyways, we have like three minutes left, so you better finish building. And, wait, we have three minutes left? Okay. And I think the first thing we have to do is make it so you can turn on and off these dispensers. So to do that, let's just go ahead and put an observer just like this. And then we can go ahead and put another observer down over here. And then if we go ahead and put down a sticky piston and a lever just like this, we can go ahead and activate it and deactivate it. Perfect. This is good, except we're kind of running out of space in the tank. But it's fine since overall, we still do have a bunch of space. Like there's literally a bed in here. Now, anyways, this tank is looking pretty awesome, but I think there is one more thing that we need. And that is an emergency escape. Just in case things are getting a little bit too hot and you gotta get out. And I think for the emergency escape, the first thing we should do is just go ahead and get rid of this bed because who is gonna be sleeping inside of a tank? And next, we can go ahead and put down a command block over here with a lever. And now whenever this lever is flicked, it's just gonna replace this block over here with a fan. And basically what this fan is gonna do is that whenever you walk over it, it'll just blow you up just like this. And now to make this look a little bit nicer, let's just go ahead and put some ghost blocks over here so that it still looks like a normal tank. But still, if you wanna eject, you can just stand right here and flick the lever and you'll just go through the ghost blocks. But anyways, just like that, our tank is now complete. And there's no way Rainy's tank is gonna be better than this. Rainy, are you done your build yet? Oh, wait a second, give me like two seconds. Wait, Rainy, the time is up. Oh no, and done. Okay, Rainy, well, whose side do you wanna check out first? Obviously, we're gonna look at my side first because it's gonna be better. Okay, well, I'm coming over and whoa, your side actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, 
Uh, it does look pretty cool, but I need to make it look a little bit more like a tank feel. So let me just throw these and perfect. Uh, wait, Rini, are you throwing dynamite around your tank? What? Yeah, because now it looks like a whole tank field. I mean, I guess it kind of does, but whoa, your tank does look pretty cool. But wait, what the heck is this? Why are there so many iron trap doors here? Uh, I ran out of time. Stop judging it. Uh, okay. Well, this tank is pretty awesome, but how do we get inside? Uh, well, as you can see, there's a skeleton head for the last person that tried to get inside. So I didn't go too well. Wait, what? You can't go inside of the tank. Wait, how are you supposed to drive it? Well, you can't go in anymore, duh. Oh, wait, what? You can't go in anymore? What does that mean? It means you can't go in anymore, Dash. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's fine, but how do we even fire it? Fire it? I didn't know we had to make him fire. But, Rainy, it's a tank. Of course it has to fire. Uh, uh, fire, fire. Oh, come on. I can think of something. Hold up, Dash. Uh, wait, no, Rainy, the time is up. You can't do anything else. Then. What are you doing? Oh, fire. It just shot. See? Uh, no, Rainy, you shot that. It, I can literally see you throwing fire dynamite. Look at him. I take his shooting. Let's go. Uh, no, Rainy, that does not count. But other than that, your tank does look pretty cool. And I think I'm going to give it a solid five out of ten. Five out of ten? You're a hater, Dash. What? Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, okay, it's a four out of ten now. You just blew up your own tank. Oh, you suck. You're a horrible judge. Okay, whatever, Rainy. Well, do you want to go check out my side now? Because it is so much better than this. I mean, there's no way it can be better, but sure. Let me just go through the wall just like this and perfect. And Wait a second, this is your tank? Yes, it is. What do you think? Whoa, this looks so cool. How'd you even build this? Oh, well, I'm just really good at building, of course. And Rainy, my tank actually shoots. And of course, you can actually go on the inside. What? This is so cool. Wait a second, Dad. How do we make it fire? Let me see. How do you fire this tank? There's a bunch of buttons. And, oh, and but what no, is Rainy, you gotta be careful with those. And oh, you just fired it. Oh, gosh, I just blew up the ground. Wait, Rainy, stay outside. Check this out. I'm gonna go inside and let me just go ahead and flick the lever and check this Ow. out. <laughs> me in the face. Oh, well, Rainy, I guess that just goes to show how effective it is. And, uh, Dash, your wall's on fire. Oh, and perfect. Wait, Rainy, that reminds me of something. That is actually the second cannon. Wait, what? You shot your own wall with your second cannon? That's kind of dumb, Dash. Well, yeah, I was testing it, but yeah, this tank has two cannons. Okay, and how do you shoot this cannon? Well, if you just go right over here and flick this lever over here, it's gonna start firing the fireball cannons. Wait, what? And, uh, wait, only one of them is working. Wait, what? I mean, I guess that's good, because it's not shooting your wall. No, no, no. I need to see this. What? is the problem here and uh here let me just go ahead and repair it really quick and perfect it should fire now whoa that's so cool yep and oh wait i think i ran out of fireballs here let me just load that up again and whoa your tank looks so cool with all this stuff firing i know this looks awesome and wait why don't we go ahead and fire the main cannon as well let's just go ahead and flick the lever and whoa this is so cool that is awesome and wait a minute ready you want to test something out uh what do you want to test out why don't we try putting our tanks next to each other and seeing who will win Oh, yeah, you're going down. Okay, perfect. The tanks are lined up. And Rainy, who do you think's gonna win? I'm definitely gonna win. All right, let me just hop inside of my tank and then we can begin. Okay, tell me when. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. Let me just start my fireball cannons and wait, what? Rainy, what did you, you just threw that? I won. Let's go. Well, actually, Rainy, I've got one more hidden secret. Let me just go back over here and quick. I need to eject. Go, go, go. Wait, what? You just ejected? Yep, I've got an ejection seat. Let's go. Stop running, Dash. I want to win. Nope, Rainy, you lose. My tank is better. GG's. Ah, uh, fine. I guess I did throw a dynamite at your tank. You win this round. Let's go. And that sets the score to 2 0. So let's move on to the final round. All right, Rainy. Well, let's go back over here to the dispenser. And do you want to do the honors this round? Of course, let's see it. Wait, we got a boat. Oh, wait, a boat. That is so awesome. Rainy, I'm an expert at building boats. You're going down. No way. I'm definitely winning this round. Well, anyways, let's go. We've each got 10 minutes. Begin. And perfect, guys. Here we are on our side. And I'm super excited for this last round because I know exactly what we can paste in this time. And again, since we're building boats this time and not a house or a tower, we can't actually use this ultra paste menu. So we're going to have to use the other ultra paste. So let's just go all the way back over here, far away from the wall because this build is gonna be crazy and let's just go ahead and run this slash paste command and here we go it should be pasting in and oh my gosh guys look at that there it is this thing looks absolutely massive this isn't a boat this is an entire cruise and oh my gosh look it's even wider than the walls hopefully Rainy doesn't notice but wait a minute guys look at all of this water okay we need to remove all of this because if it's all here and we're not in an ocean Rainy's gonna know that something's up so let's just go inside of the water and let's just go ahead and run the command 
command slash slash drain and perfect there we go almost all of the water is gone let's just go over here and run the command again and perfect it looks like all of the water is gone now and oh my gosh this thing is huge we've literally got an entire pool with a diving board a bunch of seats over here on the deck and wait a minute does this boat actually have an inside or do we have to build it ourselves let's just go down here and check and oh my gosh guys i think it does this is so epic look at how many rooms we have and whoa they all have beds inside of them and their own little balcony this is so cool we don't even have to build anything ourselves this time this is so awesome well anyway since our build is completely done and we do have a lot of extra time why don't we go over to rainy's side and prank him but guys we can't go over to rainy's side just looking like this because then he's gonna know that we're cheating so let's go ahead and grab a potion of invisibility and let's just go ahead and splash it onto ourselves and perfect and now that we're completely invisible let's go over to rainy's side and whoa guys look there he is and perfect i think my boat is pretty much done this is awesome and wait a minute rainy calls this a boat this is more like a raft this thing is so small let's see should i add anything else and wait a second i think i could add some pink to the back and wait a minute he's making his boat pink but wait guys i have a perfect idea while rainy is doing all of this stuff over here did you guys notice that rainy's boat is made out of wood and that means we can just go ahead and grab a flint and steel and let's just go ahead right over here and let's just light his boat on fire <laughs> and oh my gosh wait is my boat on fire come on come on i gotta break it all i gotta break it <laughs> and oh my gosh guys look rainy just destroyed like half his boat and now i just gotta repair this just like this man this sucks and oh uh, guys it looks like rainy just repaired that pretty easily but what if we go ahead and light the bottom on fire this way he's not gonna have any idea that it's even on fire before it's too late and wait a second there's more fire wait it's going everywhere and oh my gosh guys look his entire boat is now on fire this is so funny okay well i just got it all off so we should be fine now and wait did he get rid of all the fire again okay this flint and steel is not enough i think we need to step it up a notch let's just go ahead and go into our dynamites category and wait a minute what about this fire dynamite let's just go right over here on top of his boat and boom let's just throw it wait what there's so much fire oh there's no way i can put this out there's way too much and oh wait right he's right there's no way he can put all of this out okay i think we need to help him let's quickly grab one of these ocean dynamites and quickly throw it there we go and wait a second where did all this water just come from what and wait guys oh no it looks like the water erased his boat and wait a second my boat is gone oh, i just have to rebuild it now <laughs> this is so funny this is what rainy gets for throwing dynamite at our build well anyways guys i think that's enough and we better get back over to our side before rainy notices anything else and now let's just go over here on our giant boat and let's just wait till rainy's done building ah this is so nice five minutes later gosh are you done with your build yet i just finished oh wait rainy's done okay uh yeah rainy i'm done with my build ah uh, perfect you want to come check mine out it looks awesome okay we can check out yours first but there's no way it's gonna be anywhere as good as mine we'll see about that dash anyways i'm coming over and wait what the heck is this your boat is floating well no it's floating in water because it's a boat uh but rainy boats don't float in water boats go like in the water this floating on top of the water that's how boats work dash rainy this is not how boats work this is literally flying well this isn't a science class shut up and judge the boat okay whatever well where do i start well i mean it's a boat just look at it what do you mean where do you start um okay well i mean could i get a tour of your boat this is the boat this is the pilot's quarter and then you can walk around and it's a super cool and shiny boat mm, okay well i mean that's pretty cool and ooh, i see you've got some storage compartments hey, over get out here of my chest. get out <laughs> out out i was just judging your storage compartments don't go in there oh and wait there's a storage compartment here can i look in this one wait, no dash no get out 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 uh, wait ready what was in that don't worry about it don't go in my chest anymore uh okay well i mean yeah this is a pretty nice boat you know it's pretty small you know it'd fit like one person maybe wait what my boat is awesome this thing is so cool uh well i mean i never said it's bad i just said it's really small it does look pretty decent you don't know what you're talking about dash and but what are you doing over here why are you losing trap doors don't worry about it i'm just upgrading my boat uh okay well i mean there's a pretty weird upgrade but do you want to go check out my side now because uh it is gonna throw your boat out of the water yeah sure we'll see about that all right you can just come over whenever you're ready and here it is and wait a second dash this thing is way too big and wait it's floating in the sky there's no water anywhere and yeah rainy that's because we're not anywhere near an ocean the boat hasn't been docked yet uh yeah i think i'm gonna think of a lot of 
points for that. Wait, what? A lot of points? Are you even seeing this build? This thing is insane. But everyone knows that water is the most important part of boats. So you didn't have that. Well, I mean, no, it's not. You could put a boat in like lava or something. It doesn't have to be water. Uh, no, you can't. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, I don't know about your boat, but mine can because it is super awesome and it is fireproof. Well, I don't see lava anywhere either. So it doesn't even make a difference. Okay, whatever. Well, Randy, do you want to check out the interior now? Because it is fully decked out with an inside. Okay, let's check it out. All right. And here is the main hall. This area is so awesome. You know, we've got all these little rooms over here. And yeah, what do you think? Whoa, this is so cool. Yep. And wait a minute. Let me quickly show you the other floors. We can go right over here on the staircase. And let's go check out one of the living quarters. Okay. Let's just go over here. And I think they're over here. Yep, they are. And Randy, look at all of these rooms. Look at how many there are. Whoa, how did you even build this? Well, I'm just really good at building. What can I say? And wait, Randy, do you want to check out the best part? Let's see it. All right. And for this part, we're going to have to go to the very top. So let's go on through the staircase. And oh, the staircase stopped here. Okay, well, we're going to have to take the ladders. And whoa, are we on the main deck? Yes, we are. And look how awesome this is. We've even got a pool. This is so cool. Yep, I know. I'm super good at building, aren't I? Yeah, Dash, this is insane. Anyways, Dash, I think I'm going to go ahead and give you the win for this round. Let's go. And that means I win the build challenge. Oh, man. Well, congratulations, Dash. I'm definitely winning the next one. We'll see about that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and click on one of the videos on the screen if you want to watch more.